Illumina by Linear. A true aluminium bifolding door and one of the most attractive and energy efficient aluminium bifolds on the market. In order to make sure your Illumina bifold operates smoothly and stands up to the rigorous tests of daily use, it's important to make sure the installation is carried out to our guidelines. This video will show you how. First, check the size of the door before the installation starts. You should already have prepared the aperture, so now make sure it is clean and ready to install the new door. Remove any old silicon and brush down the threshold so the opening is clean. Measure the heights, widths and diagonals to ensure the opening is parallel on all sides as well as being square. Use a spirit level and a string line to assess the level of the threshold you are working from to aid fitting the frame at a later stage, adding packers where required and rechecking the level. In instances where a sill is to be fitted, it is good practice to fit this separately to the frame. This will ensure you have a level and secure sill to work from when fitting the frame. This shows a sill that is not level. The door will not operate correctly with a sill like this and this must be rectified before continuing. Once it is level, double check that the door still has enough clearance on height when it is installed. The particular door style being installed may influence your decision on the method you choose to fit Illumina doors. In this video, the bifold door will be fitted with the sashes in place. For larger doors, you may wish to remove the sashes before installing the outer frame. This is easily done by simply unscrewing the sashes using the same method shown in Linear's bifolding door installation video. Lift the door into position in the opening and insert packers under the threshold where previously noted. To hold the door in place temporarily whilst you level it, loosely pack out the jams. Keep checking they are level as you go along, as this will help to avoid any potential issues in later steps. There should be no twist or distortion in the jams and they should be plumb. With the packers in place, fix both outer jams in place with appropriate fixings. Fixings should be no closer than 150mm from corners and at 600mm maximum centres, with a minimum of three fixings per side. Packers must be used at either side of each fixing to help prevent distortion. As you work, continue to check for any bows as well as for plumbness and squareness. Once the door's jams have been secured in place, the threshold can now be fixed. Use appropriate fixings to secure down through the pre-punched drainage holes. Use silicon around the holes that are drilled through the bottom of the threshold before inserting the screws to prevent water ingress. Check the level of the threshold once complete. A timber lat can be used to help ensure that the head is installed parallel to the sill. Fix the head into place, completing the outer frame installation. Once the outer frame is in place, Perform a final check of all the measurements again. The door's rolling mechanisms can now be adjusted to increase or reduce any door gaps if required. Use an Allen key to adjust up or down as necessary. Once again, check the door gaps. 
Before glazing, remove all beads from the first hinged sash. Take care to note where the beads are removed from. Illumina's unique design means that foiled doors come complete with PVC beads which will easily rotate out of the sash. Powder coated doors will come with a conventional aluminium type bead and wedge gasket. Fit the linear glazing platforms in preparation for toe and healing. Lift the glass onto the linear glazing platforms from the inside and pack as required. All sashes should be toe and heeled to maintain equal and parallel gaps on the head and the threshold. Add silicon between each vertical platform to help keep them in place. A full toe and healing guide can be found within the Illumina bifolding door installation guide. Once the glass is in place, the beading can be replaced, starting with the shortest pieces first. If the door has been supplied with PVC beads, the longest beads can easily be arched and tapped into place using a plastic mallet. We recommend starting in the corners and working towards the middle. Work on each sash individually, repeating the toe and healing process for all sashes and ensuring that all the door gaps are equal and parallel as you work. Now, check the finished doors to make sure the operation is perfect. The rolling mechanism should be smooth. There should be equal gaps between each door and all the seals should be weather tight. If necessary, make final adjustments as follows. Any vertical door gap adjustments needed can be carried out with the use of 1mm packers. You can remove or add these packers from each hinged point in order to give you plus or minus 1mm of adjustment where you need it. Remember to equally space these packers on the hinge and use no more than three in total per hinge. The chute bolt can also be adjusted by removing the four screws and the plastic cover. Twist as necessary, then replace the cover and screw back into place. Twisting by 90 degrees will give a one millimeter increase or decrease in compression against the outer frame. Check that the handles and locking mechanisms operate smoothly on each door. That the bifold action is smooth and free running. And that the locks operate correctly when closed. The door magnets are critical to the continued seamless operation of the Illumina bifold door. So it's important to check that they are fully engaged when the doors are open. Finally, the rolling mechanism won't work smoothly if there is any debris in the door track, so make sure you clean it properly with a soft brush. Don't forget, you can also consult the Illumina Bifold installation guide for further information about each step of the process. The installation is now complete, 
and the homeowners can enjoy their new Illumina doors. Don't forget to leave them with the guide to operating and caring for their new bifold, which can be downloaded from the Illumina website. For more information, please visit illumina.linear.co.uk. Thank you.